Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited because today's video, I'm doing one of my favorite pages in my planner and that's the Currently page. We're in October, we're in spooky season, the leaves are changing and I'm just feeling all the vibes. I have slightly a different setup going on here. I decided to sit back here so you can see what I see when I come into my office studio situation here because usually when I'm filming, my head's covering all this. But yeah, look at all this great color going on with my pumpkin and everything else. I have my classic vertical happy planner here this is what we'll be doing our currently page in I'm really excited to get started but wait before we do that I have been drinking some pumpkin spice coffee and it is delicious mmm yes okay let's flip the camera down and get started this pumpkin spice coffee is super delicious and look at my pumpkin mug I am loving it I'm feeling all the seasonal vibes with this the coffee is a Green Mountain brand, which I get from Walmart, and yeah, fabulous. Fabulous to get you in the mood. So let's set this aside for a moment and check this out. So this is my seasonal whimsy planner from Happy Planner. I am in love with this planner because I love all the seasonal vibes going on in the dividers and the cute decor that they put in here. We are in spooky season, which is October, and this is my currently page, and I'm really excited to put this together. I'll be using stickers from my Etsy shop, this is my currently script fall sticker sheet. This has all the currently words that I could possibly think of using, as well as some extra if I think of some more. So how's that? So this is my even more currently script. I have a sheet for this for each season. You can see this one's fall. If you pick up all four sheets, it could get you through the entire year, which is really fun, really fun. And then this is the added bonus. So there are those. I'm also going to pull in this Halloween and Dia de los Muertos book from the Happy Planner. I love this book. It's one of my favorite sticker books that they have made. And our highlight will be one of the giant Mambi stick stickers. This is old. I've been kind of hoarding them. And we're going to use this girl here because look, she's fabulous. She's just fabulous. Okay, I'm excited to get this started. So let's set it up. Okay, I have all of my items gathered around me. I think what I'm going to do first is go ahead and white out some of these words that I know I won't need and that I'll probably cover anyway, and then I won't have to worry about them. Those are all of the important dates or the holiday dates. Uh, this is the word important. Uh, we're going to do priorities and even this take note because we're just going to be covering them up anyway. Okay, so far so good. I really want her on here, and there's a flower here. I could put her on this side, which is kind of fun. Or I could put her on this side. I like both sides. So let's give her something to stand on. This book is really, really fun. I saw these boxes in here, and we're definitely using those boxes. And we have some washi strips here as well that will fit. And let's just go ahead. Oh, do I need the big piece or this? I wonder if this piece will work. I'm kind of sizing it. Let's grab this piece because I don't think I need the big piece. And we're gonna put this right at the bottom here. Kind of as a place to uh, stand everything, right? Well, let's pull her off and see what we wanna do with her. So these Mambi sticks, Happy Planner had them a while ago and the paper is really thick. It's kind of like card stock in a sense. It seems like she would fit really well here. I was thinking here, but then she's going to cover an area I want to write in. So let's go ahead and put her over here. And because of that, I think I do want to move this over a bit. We're going to go kind of all the way over to the spider and then over because her feet are going to be right here and it's going to totally cover that anyway. Okay, so I'm actually going to cut this right here at kind of an angle little bit of an angle. Well, we'll do maybe the angle afterwards. And I'm going to move, I'm going to spread this to the other side so that she's standing kind of right on it. Okay, just like so. Yes! Oh my gosh, look at her. I am in love with this sticker. I'm going to give this a little angle here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little angle. There we go. 
Okay, I think she looks so super cute like this. Let's go ahead and put some boxes in. Now I like to put about, I don't know, six or so boxes in, and I'm going to use this one, two, three as one of my current leaves too. This book has some these really cute boxes here. So I wanna use these down here. These have lines, so I'm gonna stay away from those. I like the colors here, the oranges into the reds and the pinks. So there's five of these. I do want another one and I want a bigger one and there's some bigger ones in the front. This book is so cute, so super cute. Um, there are these here, which is really fun. They would definitely work with this. I like that one with the spider in it too. I kind of think I need another one in this color. So Hey Boo might be really cute. Although here's a red one with the spider too. I think I like this Hey Boo though. We will definitely be able to add more spiders probably later because I did see some spiders in here. So let's go ahead and add some of these boxes in. Now I'll probably put my currently word somewhere up, up here. So I'm gonna kind of keep this over to the side. I'm gonna start this way over. We'll put her right here just like so. Yes, I'm loving that, loving that. And let's do this fun eyeball box. Uh, these boxes are amazing. I'm hoping I can fit. See, I wanna put my currently word up here, so I wanna be careful, but I do want a little more height going on here. So let's maybe go, let's go in the center here. Okay, we'll do that. And I do want to stack some. Let's put this darker one down here in the bottom area with the cat. Loving the cat. So I'm gonna lift Hopefully I can lift her. Yeah, let's put her over the top of the edge of that. And so that's three. I wonder if I can fit the rest of these three. I definitely want this one with the sparkle. Let's try that. They're right on top of each other, but we'll see. I think I really am only going to have room for one more. So I can have the witch in the cauldron or the rest in peace in the orange. I kind of like this orange color better, although I'm a big fan of the witches. I will say that. But let's put this guy right in here, just like so. And we have those boxes. Again, I'm gonna use this area for another one. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Where are those strips at? Because I do wanna give it some color before I put the word in. And I think I can do so with these strips. Can you see that? Yes. Um, instead of using the same color, let's put some stars at the top. These stars are super cool. Or should we put the stars here where we're going to put our currently word? Kind of like the stars here. Okay, so let's do that instead. So let's figure out where we're going to put our currently word. So let's see where we want to place this. I'm going to put this maybe over on the edge here since there's kind of a little space for it. And then we can maybe string this from there. I like it. And I'll just cut this piece right around her. I'm actually gonna go around the stars though, so that it kind of blends into the paper. So I didn't cut through any stars. Nice. And I can go ahead and put this piece over on this side. Yes, let's cut that. Paper crafting is fun. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's see how we're gonna deal with this. I wanna put a quote up here. Let's put the quote in first maybe, and then we'll figure out how we're gonna put that piece. There are some quotes throughout here. Oh, look at these letters. I love this book. Look at these. In love with this book. There's all these Dia de los Muertos stickers too, which I haven't used yet. Maybe we'll use that this year. That could be a fun spread. Okay, keep going, keep going. And I'm losing track. Oh yeah, here, look. So right in here, I wonder if this big Halloween would fit there. Do you do this? Do you kind of stick your page up here to see? It's gonna go way over. So it starts up here. It would fit over her head. So if it was over her head to here, it goes over to just a little bit. I kind of like it. 
Let's use that. It has lots of stars too, which are fun. Okay, so let's put this aside and see how we can fit this in. I'm gonna have to cut through the holes a little bit, but I didn't wanna cut through a letter. So I've got this end wrapped around the disc and it goes right over into that side a bit. But yeah, I'm enjoying that. Um, I do like that. So let's figure out what we're gonna put over here. Probably another one of these strips then. That makes sense to uh, work with our word. So let's take this one and put it right across here. It's a little thicker than the space. Let me go this way. Sometimes going upside down helps. And I'm gonna pull this up and put this over the top of it because there's a star here. And if I don't have to cover the stars, I don't want to. There we go. Try again. Okay, there. Now we have a space for that too. Okay, took a little drink of my pumpkin spice coffee so that we can get rolling on this. So we have six spaces and I know the one I want up here um, with the three and I'm gonna put watching. So currently watching and we're gonna stick this right here, kind of in the middle of this line, I guess. I think this is just thicker than I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna do a little fixing on this. I don't know if it's going to work, but, oh, I need to lift this up. I wanna trim this down. I want it a little skinnier, I think is what I want. You know me and my skinny washi, right? So let me get a ruler. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can somehow get this trimmed down a touch. Okay. So I'm not pressing very hard when I do this because I don't wanna go through the paper underneath. I'm basically kind of scoring just a bit. And let's see if I did it enough to pull this up. I did score through just a touch, but it's okay. Oh no, that's the line. <laughs> I did it. And let's lift this back there. And now we can put our watching word and it won't feel so heavy. Cause I do like it to have some white space too. Maybe we'll go just like that. It's okay. It'll kind of now look more like what we, we have going on down here. So let's keep going. Let's see, let's do, what? Are, oh, reading. I haven't put one of those in a while. My reading's been in just a little bit of a slump. So this Hey Boo here has kind of a little line here. We're gonna use it. <laughs> we're gonna use that little line. Well, actually we're gonna go over here. But the line goes into the reading. Been in a little bit of a slump, but it's not really a slump. It's because I'm really busy doing some other things. And um, when you're picking and choosing, for me, sometimes reading is the one that goes down. Let's see. Oh, enjoying is a good one. Let's do enjoying. Let's put this right here by the rest in peace, right? That's really fun. I like that. And let's see, loving is a good one. Let's put loving, let's try to fit it. I can put that one up here. Let's put loving right here. Look at this cute little space for loving. Perfect. Um, let's see, listening is another fun one. Let's put that one right up in this little space. And actually, let's look at the other sheet because if you, you know, run out of ideas or if you wanna use some other words, here's another page with words. Oh, let's do drinking, especially since I've been drinking my pumpkin spice coffee today. So I wonder what I will write here. And let's put that right here. And I like to put the words so that they're kind of, so you know which box they go to, but I don't always put them like in the same space. I use the spaces around and fit them kind of in on the side. Sometimes I'll put them sideways too. That's kind of fun. But I think this looks really cute. I want to get a little bit more decor first before we fill it in for maybe like over up here or here. So let's work on that. Okay, I found this cauldron here with the witch legs sticking out and I want to fit it in here. 
but I think we're gonna have to play with it a little bit. I'm gonna fit it right in this little edge here. I want her feet to go right there. So we're going down with the cauldron. There we go. <laughs> we got our witch in there, super cute. And there's also a spider on this page with some stars, which would be perfect right here, there. So we filled that area out, definitely. It looks very full. I want to do something with these numbers here, but instead of covering them up, let's put little spiders with each number because that falls in line with the whole spider thing we have going on. And there are a ton of them on this page. So let's put one like right here. I'm getting uh, the smallest of the spiders on here. This page is fun. It has all these treats. Look at the cotton candy. That is like a nightmare, right? And let's put this one going this way. And then let's grab one more and we'll make it go kind of like that. So they're all just kind of marching around. <gasps> yes. Okay. So we have it all set. I think this looks fantastic. Let's fill it in. I'm going to pull in a Micron 01. It's kind of like a felt tip, but it is a thinner tip, so I do like that. And with some small spaces, and I don't know what all I'm gonna write. Some might have long words, <laughs> so we'll use this to fit. So we're just gonna start at the top. So currently watching, Rod and I are watching a few things, but um, oh, he just watched the show. Let me write it down. It's The Devil's Plan, it's on Netflix, it's Korean, and it's a reality show, it's like a game show, and they have competitions, only it's with very intelligent, smart people, and these games they play are like the smartest type board games and escape room type games and uh, riddle type games, it's amazing. We loved it, we were totally obsessed with it, we binged it, we just finished it, and absolutely want more of it. So let me write the other two down and then we'll talk about those. Okay, we're still binging Suits. We've been having so much fun with that. That's on Netflix too. I feel like everyone's watching Suits right now or binging it. It's been getting a lot of attention, um, but we're having a lot of fun with it. I think we're in season six. And the problem with us is that if we watch one episode, we end up watching like three, which is ridiculous because that's almost three hours long but we are enjoying that show too. And we've started watching our Halloween movies, which is really fun. I love all the Halloween movies. Um, I do like the spooky movies, but I also like the Halloween movies that are set on Halloween. So there's a lot of scary movies that that happens too. We just watched a movie, I think it was on Prime. We watched it last night. It was totally killer. And it's kind of fun because it's Halloween and there's a little time travel situation going on. But you get to see back because she goes back to like the 80s. And so you get to see all this 80s things and you get to see a today person in the 80s. So that's actually kind of funny. So there's a little comedy going on with it too. So that was kind of a fun movie. So yeah, that's what we're watching. And um, I highly recommend The Devil's Plan. I loved it. Ron and I both loved it. Okay, so let's move on to reading. Oh, I am reading a book, slowly, but I am reading. The Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic. I made a little mistake there. Try, started spelling heartbreak wrong. <laughs> but um, I think I'll leave it alone because if I try to fix it, it'll make it worse. Uh, this is a book by Brianne Randall and it just came out. It was just released, I believe, in October. So it's it's new and I'm enjoying it. It's for fans who love Practical Magic and Gilmore Girls and what more fall thing is that? So I am reading this. I said my reading was going a little slow because I've been really busy. I've been working a lot on my Etsy shop and, and creating stickers and that's taking a lot of my time and it's been fun. And so all of my you know fun creative of mind has been going towards those directions but um, I am still reading we are getting there okay drinking we all know what I'm drinking pumpkin spice coffee and yeah it's delicious okay let's move on to enjoying oh yes enjoying I've been enjoying all the fall festivals and Halloween activities that are happening. We went to our local, uh, like our farm, Eckert's, and we went to one in Milstadt, and they had this fun pumpkin festival. The day was gorgeous. The weather was beautiful. 
and we had such a fun day doing all the pumpkin things and going on a hayride and going to the pumpkin patch, watching the pig races, and it was just amazing. We had so much fun. We had we went with Holly and and Dayon and um, Aiden and Remy, and we got to play with them, and we just had a great time. So I'm enjoying all of the fall fun things that are happening. We have more coming up, and I'm really excited. Okay, loving, speaking of which, definitely loving this. I am loving all the fall weather and the changing leaves. Our leaves started changing on our trees. We have these huge trees in both our front and backyard and uh, the leaves are starting to change, they're starting to drop, and uh, they're gonna be everywhere, and I love it. <laughs> I just love all the fall things, so we have that. And last but not least, listening. Okay, here it is. This is what I'm listening to. Yep, I am listening to Christmas music, but I have an excuse, because I am right now currently creating my Christmas sticker release, and it'll be available October 25th. Mark that down in your calendar. That's just next week. So I'm feverishly working on this collection. I'm really excited about it. I love it. I can't even wait to use it. Um, in fact, when I'm done here, I'm going to go and uh, uh, put some more sheets together for it. But yeah, that's making me listen to Christmas music, and I'm having a great time with that. So here is my currently page. We are all done with this, and um, I love this. I love everything about this. Let's get the planner and see how it looks next to the divider. So it's fun going back and looking through your planner and seeing, you know, what you were currently loving and what you were up to and what you were thinking about and watching and reading. It's a great form of memory keeping that is easy and fun to do. Look at how cute she looks next to these spooky season ghosts. Uh, I'm totally in love. I used these fall currently stickers from my Etsy shop as well as this Halloween book from Happy Planner and um, I enjoyed all of that. I enjoyed the whole thing. I will put a link to my shop down below in case you want to check out these stickers and um, I do have a fall release as well as a Thanksgiving release and my uh, Christmas release is coming up as I just mentioned. But for now, I am just going to revel in all of this fun stuff. What are you currently up to? What are you reading? What are you watching? Do you have any good ideas for shows? Because I'm always looking for a good show to binge. Are you uh, drinking anything fun right now or enjoying anything? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Time for some more of this pumpkin spice coffee. Mmm.